Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. I am going to do a bottle of a bottom pour. So this is like an individual drink, like a Coke or Pepsi or something, and I cut off the last couple of inches of the bottle. Cut it off here, and it's not like exactly level. You just want it to be able to sit fairly flat on your canvas. But the key is, is that it has five humps, and some have six, and it has a pretty deep indentation right there. So that's key for your paint to drip down through those grooves to get a flower effect, which is what we're going for. I've got deco art paints that I'm working with today. I'm going to mix up the last two for you, and the colors that I have that I always keep mixed up is festive green, sour apple. This is purple pizzazz, titanium white. The last two I'm mixing are light orchid, and this is a metallic called berry. I think I got some more in the bottle. I'm going to put more in there. I'm going to try to get all the two ounces out that I can. And I'm mixing these one to one with Floetrol. So I'm going to pour the same amount of Floetrol as that I have the paint. And I'm trying to keep any lumps from coming out. I didn't bring my strainer and there went a big old blob into my paint. So I'll have to make sure and get that blob out. It's Flood Floetrol latex based. You do not want anything oil based. And I do have OGX in those three colors but I'm not adding anything in these. The OGX is the Coconut Milk Anti-Breakage Hair Serum. It's a very specific product that has dimethicone as the first ingredient. And it causes the nice big cells, but I'm not really going for cells on this pour. I just want a beautiful flowery effect. I do have my skewer here in case I need to use that. And I always have my squeeze bottles right off the camera to the side here with all my different colors in case I need to squeeze out a little color, just say for the center of the flower or wherever. So I'm going to get these lumps out of this paint. And this is really a good consistency right here. You want it to pour off your stick like warm honey or melted ice cream and it kind of lands in the paint and it kind of has a little bit of it just kind of disappears as it lands it's not so fluidy that it just drips got one little speck of something there and since I'm mixing A, a pretty similar color. I'm just going to go straight into this color, but I don't recommend mixing paints with the same stir stick unless they're light colors because then you'll dirty up your paint with whatever color you had mixed previously. Like I would not want to put a green stick into this color of paint because it would totally mess it up. I don't think it, I, I don't think I saw any Floetrol lumps, but there is something there. I came up with the term fluggers. You don't want fluggers. And you know what that kind of rhymes with? And it starts with the FL for Floetrol. So they're called fluggers. Oops, there went a drip right there. Got one more. You want your paint to be pretty much lump free. Now the greens and the purple have sat for a while, like for a week or two. 
I added a bit of water, but sometimes you might find a lump or two there as well. So you just need to be prepared. You really want to be as lump free as possible. All right. These are a little bit thicker and that's perfectly okay. I'm gonna take the sticks out of these so they're not in the way. So this is a little bit lighter green. I got my white, my pale orchid, berry, and the purple. We'll see what we can come up with here. If you don't know where the center point is, I highly suggest going from corner to corner and where that X is that's the center point so I'm going to center my bottle right there in the middle and see it rocks it's not it's not totally flat I've got some rough edges I can always can always take my scissors and I've used this one like this before but you can always kind of trim away an uneven part if you can see visibly where it is a little bit higher, now it doesn't rock as much, so that's good. So I'm going to put it right there. I'm not putting a, a base coat because I don't want my pattern to move too quickly on my canvas. This is a 12 inch square. I was probably like way too much paint. And I can tell right now it's going downhill. So I'm going to pull my push pins out just a little bit that are underneath the canvas to hopefully keep it from going that way. So I want a kind of a light dark situation. So I think I'll do a little bit of this light orchid which almost looks pink and then a little of the berry Okay, I'm going to go ahead and lift the bottle out. So it's a lot of green. I am going to heat it. I see some bubbles. I'm going to pop the bubbles. I really want it to stay kind of centered. I'm going to take my white and my squeeze bottle and just come up to the edge of this shape. I think what I'm going to do is blow out the edges just a little bit. And then you can take your skewer if you want to. And you can, you know, bring it inwards, or you can take it out to make points. There's a flugger right there. Wipe off your skewer every time you drag your stick through. So I can do it once, I can do it in between each one, I can come inwards on the other side, let's see, let's see how that looks right here. So that's kind of pretty. So I'll do two on either side of the center part. 
wiping each time. So I like that. The light orchid totally disappeared. You can barely see any suggestion of it. I am going to come in in the center and put some dots. The paint is kind of thick in the middle so they are definitely sinking down. And I can always come back when it's dried and add the white dots back in in the middle which I think is what I'm going to do because it's so thick in the middle it will just continue to disappear so I think I'm done with this one <coughs> so this is a for a purple and green lover the berry metallic color is really really pretty I am going to make sure my white has gone down around the sides because I do have areas where the canvas is still drying. Okay, so I have one more thing I want to do. I'm going to do a dip and if you're not familiar with the dip a dip is when you put paint on one canvas and dip it onto another or put it on a surface and dip your canvas into it. So I have two 8 by 10s and I am going to base coat each one of them with some white. I'm just going to use my hands. Because after I dip it paint is going to smash in between the two canvases anyway. So I'm going to take my one canvas, kind of just drizzle Kind of a flower shape, not really, but you know, kind of. Now I'm going to do the berry color. I'm going to use my white squeeze bottle and do just a little bit of white. And I have a golden color. I'm going to put a little bit of a golden color just kind of towards the center. And maybe I'll throw in just a bit of hot pink. So these, ha these have uh, some OGX or silicone in them so it may sell up which is okay but I'm not really going for sales let's just put it that way okay I'm going to use in my bottle I've got some dark green and I'm just going to put a little bit just for some depth and then I'm going to put the green
and my sour apple I'm going to use from the bottle. Just a, I added a little yellow in here so that it's just a little bit more of a yellow green. Maybe I'll just do a touch of white again right here. And that's that. So we're going to press the canvas and see what happens. So I'm going to press down in the center. Some people use something hard to kind of scrape. I don't really have anything hard close by, I don't think. I'm just pressing it the best I can. I got a little weight right here. I'm going to put that just to hold the canvas down in the center a bit and then I'm going to slowly lift off. So this has less paint on it because it's the one that was on top. This has more paint. Too many cells because I had OGX or silicone in it, but that's okay. And I'm just going to try to bring out some... I don't guess I'll mess with that. Nah. You can always take your skewer and direct the paint a little bit. I'll leave that in the way it is. Like I said, this side is really thin. This one probably has too much paint. So it's um, a little bit thick in the middle, but try to lift a little bit out. All right. So two so-so flowers. Nothing special. It's always fun to play and just try and see if you can get some kind of a, an effect. Some people are really good. Fiona Art is really good at this. She's got the, uh, the technique down pat pretty well. So sometimes when we try to channel other artists, you know, it doesn't go quite the way we envision it because we want it to look as beautiful as the the person that originally did the art. I'll bring up this one. This one doesn't look so much like a flower. But it's still pretty. Pretty colors. So I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel down below, and if you want to get notified when I post new videos, just click the bell, and that will help you get notifications. Check out all the links below the video if you'd love to contribute. I would love to have some help, 
It is expensive to do this. I know you think it's not, but it is. So I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.